What's up everyone? Welcome back. I'm so sorry to have been gone for so long, but we're just going to do another textured art piece. Today we're trying a new material. As you can see, this is a Fast Patch 30. I just randomly picked it up at the local department store and um, just wanted to test something out really quick because I, I made my own concoction before, but I wanted to see if this one works. So I'm using an acrylic fortifier. As you can see in that image, a plane is passing by. Let's wait it out. Anywho, so the plane passed. Okay, okay. So today's the day for vehicles. Who knew? Anyway, so I'm pouring that out of the plastic cup into this um, silicone measuring cup just so that I can get an idea of how much I use, learn from it if I don't like it, and um, alter it if need be. But it's better to know than not. So I think I used about two, one cup. Mm, yeah one cup of the uh, acrylic fortifier i'll list it down below and some of you might know it already so i'm pouring it back into the plastic cup and that's because i just want a stiff uh mixing container i'm now scooping it it comes with a scoop included that's great because i did not have to or they did not want to have to go and look for that on my own so new um popsicle sticks everything in here is new literally picked it up and was like you know what let me try this out except for the canvas i had the canvases before so i put uh four and a half scoops into this mixture and i'm mixing as i'm put putting the scoops in because as you know when it comes to these kinds of things if you let them pile on top of the liquid it's going to be horribly difficult excuse the vehicles guys it's gonna be horribly horrible wow horribly difficult to mix so mix as you go that's best and um i think i got it to the thickness that i want i don't want it too thick i would much prefer to add on more um fast patch if i need or let it dry a little bit but i love the the creaminess the smoothness i feel like when it's like that i can make it as thin as i want to Thin being what's on the canvas, of course. I don't have to add in so much product. That way, it lasts. It's it's more durable against being moved, possibly shipped. I can't ship, but you know, if you wanted to try it and you wanted to ship it out, then possibly shipped and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So, literally, okay. I did not mix it as perfect as I could, and I did that because I knew that I'd be able to smoothen out any bumps or lumps on the actual canvas, so I didn't care um another plane let's sweep that one out as okay, well okay so it's kind of past um but yeah you're <laughs> now you're watching me make a huge mistake um the whole point of me making it this thin was to not layer on too much product so why why did i think that it would have been okay for me to pour the entire mixture onto such a small canvas i don't know and you're gonna see me struggle almost immediately right there me having to wipe off mixture because it's gonna pour off it's too thin to be laid on so thick now had i um made the mixture a bit thicker then yeah sure i could have put all that on it but i did not trust it i didn't trust it enough long term to um survive possible falls um hits all you know childproof and basically so i don't know why i did that you're gonna watch me scoop that out shortly it's just i'm stubborn so i'm like you know what i poured it on i'm gonna make it work i'm gonna make it work and i kept thinking that the entire time so give me some time <laughs> you're gonna watch it come off so just, just give me some time um but yeah it's it's really such an amazing um mixture to work with i love the thinness but again if you're laying it on so thick there's no possible way any pattern would be able to hold onto that canvas with such a thin layer. So again, if you're making this for yourself and you like a thicker consistency, then add in more of the fast patch and you can lay it on as thick as you want. My fear is if it's so thick, then it just might spill over while I'm mixing it or while I'm putting it on there, say. Or... Once it's dried, if it gets bumped even just a little bit, it might crack and slide off. I'm not saying that's happened to me before. It's actually never happened to me before. But it's just it's just one of those fears, man. 
when you're trying something new, you want to be sure. So anyways, I I got the, well, I'm getting the access off and um, smoothing, smoothing, yeah, English, it's gone. Anyways, you see what I'm doing. <laughs> but yeah, I, I did one before with the previous materials that I use and it actually felt, the canvas itself was mounted and it fell off twice it fell to the ground and it was mounted at least six feet up fell to the ground and it was fine and i was like whoa so i'm trying to test this out i don't want to crack proof it or better yet crack test it because i i kind of like the way this design came out so I'll, I'll do that with another one but yeah i got the excess off and um it gets thicker over time so just keep playing with it it'll get thick it'll get there um, now the canvas is just as smooth as I want it to be. I'm going to move in straight into making the design and you're going to see that it is minimalist art for a reason. It literally doesn't need to be too much to look amazing. I'm almost afraid to even paint this because I don't think me painting it will do it justice. Like I don't think I can do it justice by painting it. So basically, I'm just showing you the technique that I use to put these arches in there. And I'm right-handed, so I'm using my right hand initially to apply the pressure. But I'm going to be holding it with my left hand. So the left hand will be the stable hand, and the right hand will be the rotating hand. So here, there you see it. I'm rotating with my right hand, and I'm stabilizing it with the left. Stabilizing means where the left hand is, there's more pressure. And where the right hand is, it moves freely. Now you have excess um, product that's on it or material, whatever you want to call it, mixture. I'm going to scrape that off and wipe it as well because you don't want to, for any reason, excuse the cars, another one is coming. Um, excuse that one as well. But you don't want to buy, yeah, there it goes. <laughs> you don't want to have any of that excess product ruin your pattern on your material. Oh, there's another one. Mm, mm -hmm. okay so here i'm rotating the technique so i'm stabilizing with my right hand and rotating with my left and that's just because the angle that i was doing it at that was what's more comfortable you want the stabilizing hand to be where the axis will be oh wow i actually said that right wow <laughs> yay school anyways i'm just scraping the sides off uh i actually taped off the sides of this and so i'm just cleaning it off a little bit even though once i take the tape off it'll just you know it'll it'll do what it has to do so yeah that's all that's it that's literally it i'm gonna leave it there i'm gonna let it dry thank you guys so much for watching and please stay tuned i'm gonna maybe paint this so come back and then you'll see thank you <laughs>